In this video, I will show you how to create and set up a Shopify account properly and how you can actually create it and set it up to start selling your products. So make sure to watch this video until the end so that you don't make a mistake and you set everything up correctly. So first of all, what you can do is click on the link in the description. That will be easier. It will take you to this page and you will see you can get started for one euro per month. And that is after your free trial. So if you want to claim this deal, click on the link down in the description. And it's also easier for following along with this video. So simply enter your email address right here. So this can just be your Gmail email address. It doesn't need to be a professional one, although you can do that as well if you would like to. Then after doing that, go and click on start free trial right there. That will take you to this page. Now you can skip these questions, but I don't recommend doing that. I would just answer all of these questions so that they can actually help you set up your store correctly. So the first question is which one of these best describes you? I am just starting or I am already selling online or in person. Now, by the way, I recommend just following along and just taking every single step. So I'll say I'm just starting and click next. Then they will ask, where would you like to sell? So if you want to create an online store for dropshipping or just selling your products, you want to pick an online store so that you can create a fully customizable website. Now you can also choose to sell in person, on social media, in an existing website or blog, online marketplaces, or I'm not sure. So if you want to sell on any of these other options, then you can just tick those boxes as well, but I'm going to keep it simple and only sell on an online store that I will create with Shopify. So then click next. Then it will ask, what do you sell? So the types of products. Now for most people, it will be either products I buy or make myself or dropshipping products, but it can also be digital products. So that could be music, digital arts or NFTs. You can also sell services, so that can be coaching, housekeeping or consulting, but you can also sell print-on-demand products, for example, through Printify. You can also choose to decide later, but for this example, I will say products I buy or make myself, and you can also select multiple options right here. So then click next. And then the final step here is where will your business be located? And they will use your location to set up your default shipping rates, recommended apps and more. Now for me, it is indeed the Netherlands, but you can pick any country from this list. It doesn't even need to be your own country if you are dropshipping. For example, I am from the Netherlands, but I could decide to dropship to the United States since that is kind of the point of dropshipping that you don't need to have any supply. So just going to click next right here. Now here you will see I can choose an account. I already have a few accounts, but I'll just click on add account. And then here you will see the email address you used earlier. And then here simply enter a password to go along with that email address. And then going to click on login right here. So now it is going to build out your store and then we can actually get started with doing some of the basics for your Shopify store to really get going. So right here we have now created your Shopify account. Now the setup guide right here kind of depends on what kind of products you will sell. Now the first step will usually always be to add your first product. So to do this, simply click add product right here and then you can start writing out your product here. So you can add your title, your description, you can upload any images and at any point you can also preview your store by going to online store and click on view your online store right there. Now you can also set the price, a compare at price, cost per item, you can set your shop location and shipping pricing and everything like that right here. Now when you return to the home screen, you can mark this as done. And then the second step here is to customize your online store. And first, usually you will be customizing the theme and picking a theme. Now, after doing that, you will get to adding a custom domain because the standard myshopify.com domain isn't the most professional. So just click on add domain right here. And then if you don't have a domain yet, then you can simply buy it right here. Or if you already have one, you can connect it by clicking on connect existing domain. So after doing that, you will get to your store settings where you can name your store. You can set up Shopify payments. You can set your shipping rates and you can pick a plan for your Shopify subscription. Now again, if you sign up to Shopify through the link in the description, you will get the three day free trial. You will see that in the bottom left, three days left in your trial. And after that free trial, you will get your first month for only $1, one euro, one pound, whichever currency you are using. 
So then the final step here is to actually launch your store. And before doing that, you want to go and place a test order to see if everything is working correctly. And if you want to learn how to do that, simply click on this link and that will take you to a post about how to do that. Then the final step is to remove the password from your store. So you will see right now if I visit my store, there will be a password protection. So if you want to remove the password, just click right there and then you can actually do that. But I recommend only doing that once you are actually ready to start selling. Now, if there are any apps that you may want to use, you can click on add apps right here. For example, if you want to do print on demand, you can use an app like Printful. Now, if you click on Shopify App Store, you will see the thousands of different apps that they offer. Now, you can also search for a specific use case for an app. For example, store design. Then you will see some apps that will help you design your store. And you could use that. For example, this app right here is a product reviews app, which allows you to import product reviews. Now, this is mainly used for dropshipping and you could also search for AliExpress import or something like that. And then you can also import AliExpress products. Now, an app that I like to use for this is AutoDS and I'll leave an extended free trial link to them down in the description. If you do want to do dropshipping, I recommend trying it out. But now we have successfully set up your Shopify store and created your account. So that are all the steps that you need to take to create and set up your Shopify account. Again, if you want to get a three day free trial and your first month for $1, then click on the link down in the description. And instead of the usual Shopify homepage, that will take you to this landing page where you can really easily get started by entering your email address. If this video was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. And with that being said, I will see you in the next video.